Hey everyone! So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you can see a pan here. So I cook tteokbokki, um, homemade tteokbokki. So I try to cook. Um, I added some cabbage, um, purple cabbage, um, carrots, onions, sweet potatoes, and potatoes, and bell peppers, and cheese. <laughs> I wanted to add um, two, like I added one slice and I was like, no, let's add another one. So I added two slices of cheese and I'm having it here in my pan because I don't want to put this on a plate and waste water, you know. <laughs> and also I have some bok choy and I have some pak choy in here. I know this is not like the traditional Korean food, tteokbokki, blah, blah, blah. But um, I just made this up. Mmm. That's a potato. Oh my god, so good. Oh! So hot. Another of the reasons why I wanted to eat this in this pan because it keeps it warm. Mm. Let's take a look at the cheese. All right. I burned my mouth, my tongue. Look at that cheese. <laughs> Who doesn't love cheese? I mean, <gasps> oh, hmm. I want to do like a cheese fondue. My dad bought a package, and I haven't. Uh, yeah. This is like a vegetarian dish besides the cheese. Last minute, I wanted to add cheese. <laughs> Did I mention carrots? I put like four scoops of gochujang and then added red peppers, no, pepper flakes. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. 
It definitely keeps it really warm. Oh hell. Cooking at home is way better than going out. Are you watching the Olympics? <laughs> Jesus. I'm like almost tearing up. It's hot. It's spicy. Mm. I'm usually um, not very sensitive when it comes to hot food, but it's too hot. I wonder what's spicier, the ramen challenge, like the Korean fire ramen challenge, or this, this, or this one. Mm. Oh. And I was talking to about the Olympics. Um, Sun Yang won gold for 400 meters, I think. Freestyle 400 meters. And that one that got um, silver, Team Horton, or uh, I'm not sure what's his name. Um, he said that Sun Yang was consuming drugs. So that's why he won. I was like, hmm? first of all, you're mad because he won. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're saying that to media, and you're not sure. Are you?
and I didn't know like he was <coughs> mm, that famous. Apparently he knows because I saw a picture. He knows Chris Wu. Is it Wu from well ex member from EXO? What do you like to put cheese in? I pretty much like to put it in everything, like an ice cream. I mean, cheesecake ice cream. <laughs> mm. I've heard like <clears throat> well, my family when they came, I gave them like mm, different types of cheese to try them, and they didn't like it because. In China, there's there no, there, I think they're barely cheese because every time I go, like I'm looking for cheese and there's no cheese. It's just so different, and also I love avocado, and my family they don't like it. Like my Chinese family, they don't like it. It's just so weird. I mean, avocado is life. Like my grandma, um. When we were in the States, like she cannot live without hot water and rice. Literally, if there's no rice, she like she can't. She she's gonna be in a bad bad, bad mood, and she's like, I need my rice. <laughs> and so, in the restaurants we were looking like, whenever we got into a restaurant, we were like, is there rice in here? And then. If there was, we stayed there eating. <laughs> mm. So, mm, and also, when we got to a restaurant, she's always like, Is there hot water in here? Well, she told me to ask them. And Yeah, there was hot water. We went to Las Vegas and their hotel. I'm gonna mention the name. Mm. It's called Bali's Hotel. And it's the worst service hotel. Mm. I don't know if it's only in Vegas or what, but there is no um, boiling water cup or coffee maker. There's no, there's no fridge. When we checked out, they charge us like that person told us that they charge us for the hotel fees a day. That was like thirty bucks or something. Since when they charge for a hotel fee? Like every day they charge a hotel fee. And I was like, why don't you charge it um, when you booked when you book the hotel? Like that would be way better and we all know the price of total of the total stay. I don't get it. And I was like, what? I was I didn't even know. 
and that's the other one and, and that lady was like nah, nah, nah. i was like okay girl you don't want to explain to us all right mm. and we thought vegas was like the cheapest hotel but no that was the most expensive seriously and the reservation included breakfast you have nine dollars only and you go to like a cafeteria and you just redeem them and what you can buy with nine dollars is only like a cup of coffee and like a croissant or or a muffin that's it that's your breakfast okay and also my as i told you my grandmother liked hot water there was no hot water in the hotel like in the room so <clears throat> she went to this cafeteria and she asked me to mm, ask for hot water and they charge us one dollar thirty cents <laughs> not impressed at all okay you charging me for hot water are you serious oh no never again i remember the first time we went to vegas Mm, my mom's friend booked a hotel for us and that was the cheapest hotel ever it was like $30 a night or something and I at that time like it was 2009 at that time no it was 2010 or 2000 it was 2010 I think at that time I thought like everything was so cheap it was literally so cheap and then this time we went there it's like same as LA it's expensive life gets harder every day I'm so full mm. oh I barely ate this <laughs> let's eat one last piece mm. I put some soy sauce in here a little bit okay mm. Thank you so much for watching. Oops. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like or comment this video.